start my morning off just like everybody else, tired and ugh. So I stretch a little bit and I don't have to wash my face. So I start washing my hands and then I use my honey, organic honey, to start washing my face with. It is very, very good for acne. It is very, very good for people with sensitive skin like me. And it's also very moisturizing and it feels really good when you're just rubbing this on your face in the morning, at least to me it does. So I just do that very nicely on my face and I'm very careful on my eyes and I don't scrub too hard. And then I just rinse it off a few times with some splashes of water to get it all off so I can start moisturizing my skin. What I'm actually doing here is going into my room and going into my essential oils drawer where I keep my rosehip seed oil that I got online on iHerb and my whipped organic unrefined shea butter that I bought on eBay. They are so good for my skin. I start putting the rosehip seed oil into my hand, about three or four drops, and then I just rub it in so it gets all over my hands very evenly, and then I just apply it to my face. It's very calming, very soothing, and it actually smells quite nice. Rosehip oil has anti-aging benefits. It's high in vitamin A, which is an antioxidant, and it's very, very good for your skin. I've also heard that Miranda Kerr actually puts rosehip seed oil on her skin at night and then she'll wake up with glowing skin. I think that it's pretty cool that I'm using the same thing that a celebrity is using that has beautiful skin. This shea butter I'm using is organic and unrefined. Shea butter is very, very good for your skin. It is high in vitamins A and E. It is an anti-inflammatory. It's non-commutogenic, which means it does not clog pores, and it's very good for people who have dry skin like me. Here I'm just taking my mixture of rosehip seed oil and shea butter, and I'm pressing it gently into my skin. It's very, very soothing. I rub it into my skin a little bit, being very gentle around the eye area so that I don't stretch my under eyes, which can cause wrinkles. And then just into my neck to create a soft texture on my neck and anywhere I decide to put it. And my chest, keeping it nice and supple. And then whatever I have left on my hands, I just rub onto the back of my hands or maybe on my elbows or my knees, any dry parts I might have. And then I just take a little bit and rub it onto my lips. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you again. Bye.